Justin, career high game for, for Braxton. His first time in his career, he's thrown for three touchdowns. Um, what did you like about the way he, he saw the field today? Well, I thought early on, um, you know, he put some balls in some pretty good spots to give our guys a chance to, to go catch him. You know, Trey had the ball. Um, really, the f first play of the game, I thought, um, I know we didn't come down with it, but I kind of liked where that ball was located, you know. And then on the first third down, Trey kind of bobbled it but caught it. I really liked where he threw that ball. And then maybe the next series, he threw another one to Tavion. Like, I just felt like he was pretty accurate today in terms of, of getting the ball out and giving our guys a chance to go make some plays. What do you think about the way your your defensive line and, and your linebackers created pressure and got in the backfield? And that Taiwan Garbett scoop and score, what, what was going through your head right there? Well, I, I thought, uh, you know, Mateo Durant is a great football player. And um, to be able to limit him to um, – you know, 30, 30 some odd yards, I think it's a pretty remarkable performance. And you don't do that without winning a line of scrimmage. And, you know, that, that creates, um, you know, some favorable matchups and some opportunities to kind of pin your ears back and, and try and get after the quarterback. So we were able to create some pressure, get them in some, some longer yardage situations. Um, you know, obviously they were, you know, they had their own quarterback situation that they were trying to deal with too. but. Um, to me, it all started with, with holding up against uh, Durant. Coach, uh, Tavion Robinson had obviously the four catches for 78 yards, but also 73 yards on his three returns. That puts him in the lead nationally in terms of punt return yards. <laughs> What's allowed Tavion to kind of go from last year where you guys were rotating guys back there to now being one of the best punt returners in the country? I don't know. You'd have to ask Tavion. I, I don't know what, what's different for him. I know he's got a lot more confidence. Um, I, I, I've talked about this before. It's, it's not a real sexy answer. But, you know, heading into last year, he was a true sophomore. He had, because of COVID, he had no offseason, no spring practice, no. And I think we all, myself included, just assumed he would make this leap um, into his sophomore year without all of that development. And, you know, he really didn't. And I don't know why. And this is kind of the conversation we've had as coaches. We shouldn't be surprised by that. He, he, he wasn't given a chance. And um, through this year, through spring practice, through a full summer, through all the things, he's stronger, he's more confident. He's been allocated an entire offseason to go train and get ready to play. And I think that's helped his confidence. And, and you know, he's certainly in control back there fielding those punts now, whereas – you know, a year ago, he was shaken a little bit early in the season and kind of never really got back on on stable ground back there. And, um, you know, he came to us in the offseason and said, I, I want to do this, which, you know, is what we were hoping he would do. I want to do this. I can get over my lack of confidence that I had last year, whatever you want to term it. And he's certainly playing with a tremendous amount of confidence and communication. And he's got 10 guys, 10 other guys on that unit one of them's our starting wide receiver. One of them's Trey Turner. One of them's you know Caleb Smith. He's got a guys that start that are out there blocking their tails off for him. That unit takes a lot of pride in, in his production. Couple more. Uh, with Braxton, the interception. What should he have, should he have tried to throw it away? I mean, what did you see on that that play? Uh, it was a screen. He just didn't get it up over the top of the defensive lineman. And then um, in terms of uh, Wilford Panay. Kind of stepping in, he it seemed like he took his most snaps of his career in a single game. You know, with Mario out, how important has his development is to give you guys some depth up there at tackle? Yeah, he's been huge. You know, he's just grown out of being a, a tight end, defensive end, down to defensive tackle. He's covering kicks for us. I mean, this is a big, good athlete. I mean, this is another kid that. I don't know who else recruited him, but I, I just think he's got a chance to have a really good career here. He's on, on track. And part of it is he's got some talent, but the other part of it is kind of the way he's wired. I mean, this, this is really important to him. He works really hard. Um, I knew in the bye week, the way he went about the work that he got in the bye week, that, that he had a chance to, to help us this year. And he just keeps getting better every single week.
there was that stretch in the third quarter where I think there was a penalty like every single play for, for about uh, five or six plays there. Do you just kind of throw your hands up on, on some of those, or, or how do you look at those? Well, I mean, there was a couple of them that were probably questionable. There's a couple that we, you know, I don't know what happened on the hands of the face, but we, we've been good at not taking those types of penalties. Um, but yeah, it was a little frustrating, to be honest with you. A little, um, you know, it's not, you know, it's really kind of not like us or hasn't been like us. And, you know, we're fortunate that it didn't hurt us too bad, but uh, we, can't, we can't continue those things. We've got we've to play with a little bit more discipline, you know. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the linemen downfield calls, I don't like, you know, Braxton gets back there and he's, it's a drop back pass and he's scrambling and the guy, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I mean, sometimes he runs and sometimes he doesn't run, you know, it's a little, little bit of a hard deal for the lineman a couple times. No, we didn't tell him to not be, that he was, be, we did not tell him that he was being too aggressive. Um, I'm gonna, you know, he's an aggressive player and I don't know, he hadn't gotten too many of those calls throughout his entire career. They don't call it very much in this league anyway, so.